Welcome to Botanical Bliss's definitive guide on revitalizing lifeless earth. If you're facing compacted clay, nutrient-depleted ground, or chemically damaged soil, you've come to the right place. As passionate gardeners ourselves, we understand the frustration of working with soil that seems beyond hope. This guide brings together years of experience and research to help you transform barren dirt into rich living soil using nature's own healers. Before diving into our plant heroes, let's quickly understand what dead soil actually means. Healthy soil teems with billions of microorganisms, contains balanced nutrients, and supports complex ecosystems. Dead soil lacks this biological activity, structure, and nutrient cycling ability. Common causes include chemical overuse, erosion, compaction, and monoculture farming. The plants in this guide specifically target these issues through various mechanisms. Deep taproot systems that break compaction, nitrogen fixation abilities, carbon sequestration, microbial relationship building, organic matter production, and erosion control. Now let's explore the remarkable plants that can transform your barren ground into a living, thriving ecosystem. Red Clover, also known as Trifolium pretense. This biennial powerhouse drives its roots two to three feet into compacted soil, while forming partnerships with bacteria that convert atmospheric nitrogen into plant-available forms. Red Clover adds up to 150 pounds of nitrogen per acre annually, essentially providing free fertilizer. Its abundant foliage can be cut and used as green mulch, accelerating your soil's recovery. For best results, sow in fall or early spring, and consider chop and drop harvesting every 8 to 10 weeks during the growing season. White clover, also known as Trifolium repens, is lower growing than its red cousin. It creates a living carpet that suppresses weeds while continuously adding nitrogen. Its shallow but dense root system prevents erosion and gradually builds topsoil structure. This perennial thrives where others fail and works beautifully as living mulch between vegetable rows or beneath fruit trees. Mow occasionally to stimulate fresh growth and nitrogen production. Alfalfa, also known as Medicago sativa, is truly the deep-diving champion of soil healers. Its taproot can penetrate up to 20 feet deep, breaking through hard pan and accessing minerals and moisture unavailable to other plants. Beyond nitrogen fixation, alfalfa mines calcium, magnesium, and other nutrients from subsoil layers. Plant this perennial where you need serious soil restructuring and allow it to grow for at least two full seasons before incorporating it into the soil. Autumn olive, or Elagnus umbellata, is a nitrogen-fixing shrub that transforms the most challenging landscapes, from strip-mined wastelands to drought-prone slopes. Its extensive root system prevents erosion while continuously enriching surrounding soil. Birds love the berries, helping spread beneficial plant seeds throughout your property. Note that autumn olive can be invasive in some regions, so check local regulations before planting. Black locust, or Robinia pseudoacacia. For large-scale soil regeneration projects, black locust trees offer unmatched benefits. These fast-growing nitrogen fixers create microclimates beneath their canopies while continuously depositing nutrient-rich leaf litter. Their deep roots stabilize slopes and prevent erosion. Consider these for windbreaks or strategic planting in severely damaged areas needing long-term improvement. Lupines, or lupinous species, are these beautiful nitrogen fixers that really thrive in acidic, sandy soils where other legumes might struggle. Their deep tap roots break up compaction while supporting beneficial bacteria that enhance soil fertility. Comfrey, known scientifically as Symphytum officinale, is perhaps the ultimate permaculture plant for soil regeneration. Its deep roots mine subsoil nutrients that are usually unavailable to most plants. Its rapidly produced, mineral-rich leaves make excellent mulch or liquid fertilizer when steeped in water. Once established, a single comfrey plant can produce up to 4 to 6 pounds of biomass per cutting, with multiple harvests possible each season. 
Plant Bocking 14 variety for a non-spreading option. Daikon Radish, also known as Raphanus sativus var. Longipinatus. These biodrills penetrate compacted soil with tap roots growing 1 to 2 inches in diameter and extending several feet deep. When winter killed or harvested, these massive roots decompose, leaving channels for water, air, and beneficial organisms. Plant in late summer for fall growth, allowing winter to naturally terminate them for spring planting areas. Chicory, also known as Sicorium intibus. With striking blue flowers and bitter leaves, chicory's agricultural value lies in its drought-resistant taproot system that breaks through compacted soil layers. These roots access deep water and mineral reserves, gradually improving soil structure. Chicory particularly excels at accumulating potassium, calcium, and phosphorus from deep soil layers, making these nutrients available when plant residues decompose. Dandelion, also known as Terexacum officinale. Often considered a weed, dandelions are actually soil healing powerhouses. Their deep tap roots break compaction while accumulating calcium, potassium, phosphorus, copper, and iron from the subsoil. These nutrients become available to neighboring plants when dandelion leaves decompose. Rather than fighting these yellow flowered helpers, consider them valuable allies in soil regeneration. Switchgrass or Panicum virgatum is native to North American prairies. It develops these massive root systems that extend over 10 feet into the soil. This not only breaks soil compaction but also builds up carbon reserves. These perennial grasses thrive with minimal care even in poor conditions. They gradually transform depleted soils through their annual root turnover. Their drought tolerance makes them just perfect for areas with unreliable rainfall patterns. Big blue stem, also known as Andropogon gerardii, is often referred to as the king of prairie grasses. This remarkable plant creates impressive underground ecosystems with roots that extend 8 to 12 feet deep. These extensive root systems host beneficial fungi and bacteria that, you know, help rebuild soil food webs. Big blue stem's tolerance for both drought and periodic flooding makes it ideal for, well, problematic areas with variable moisture conditions. Consider planting it in mixed grass stands for maximum diversity. Vetiver grass, also known as Chrysopogon zizanioides, is a remarkable plant. It's known for its extensive root systems that can reach deep into the soil, making it incredibly effective for soil stabilization and erosion control. This grass is not only resilient but also has a multitude of uses from essential oil production to traditional medicine. So let's dive into the fascinating world of vetiver grass and explore its many benefits. For severe erosion control and soil stabilization, few plants match vetiver grass. Its massive vertical root system can reach 10 to 15 feet deep within two years, creating living barriers against soil loss. Unlike many grasses, vetiver doesn't spread horizontally, staying exactly where planted. This non-invasive character makes it perfect for strategic placement in erosion-prone areas. If you found value in this guide, please subscribe to the Botanical Bliss YouTube channel for more in-depth gardening content and share this resource with fellow gardeners struggling with poor soil conditions. Remember, we're not just growing plants, we're rebuilding ecosystems from the ground up. Your efforts extend far beyond your garden boundaries, supporting watershed health, carbon sequestration, and biodiversity restoration with every plant you grow. Happy soil healing, and may your garden thrive as never before.